Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. It was the right thing to do. Theresa May stands by airstrikes amid Russia hack warning. Theresa May yesterday insisted airstrikes against Syria were in the British national interest and not as a result of pressure from Trump. The Prime Minister told Parliament, We have not done this because President Trump asked us to, we have done it because we believed it was the right thing to do, and we are not alone. There is broad-based international support for the action we have taken. She said she did not seek a green light from Parliament for the attacks due to the need to act quickly. And she insisted her decision to order RAF tornadoes into the US-led assault on three of dictator Bashar al-Assad's chemical weapons facilities was legally and morally right. During more than three hours of Commons debate, the Prime Minister said, We cannot go back to a world where the use of chemical weapons becomes normalized. I am clear that the way we protect our national interest is to stand up for the global rules and standards that keep us safe. That is what we have done and what we will continue to do. On her decision not to seek parliamentary approval for the air strikes, MRS May said, I am absolutely clear, Mr. Speaker, that it is Parliament's responsibility to hold me to account for such decisions and Parliament will do so. But it is my responsibility as Prime Minister to make these decisions and I will make them. Meanwhile, British and American security chiefs issued an unprecedented joint warning last night of a surge in malicious cyber attacks from Vladimir Putin's Russia. The National Cyber Security Center joined the FBI and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to alert businesses and public services, including the NHS, about attempts to hack computer systems to lay a foundation for future offensive operations. They said multiple sources had reported suspected Russia infiltration to bring havoc to computers and several other devices. The aim was to undermine the safety, security and economic well-being of Western societies. The UK's warning follows fears of a devastating wave of Russian cyber attacks in revenge for the Allied missile strikes on President Putin's ally Syria. MRS May said the government had enhanced our capability to combat cyber threats following the increase in tensions with Russia. However, last night's warning set out the dangers posed to industry. It said the Russian state-sponsored hackers were using compromised routers to conduct spoofing man-in-the-middle attacks to support espionage, extract intellectual property, maintain persistent access to victim networks and potentially lay a foundation for future offensive operations. Cyber Security Center Chief Executive Siren Martin explained, Russia is our most capable hostile adversary in cyberspace. So dealing with their attacks is a major priority for the National Cyber Security Center and our U.S. allies. This is the first time that in attributing a cyber attack to Russia, the U.S. and the U.K. have, at the same time, issued joint advice to industry about how to manage the risks from attacks. It marks an important step in our fight against state-sponsored aggression in cyberspace. For more than 20 years, GCHQ has been tracking the key Russian cyber attack groups. Today's joint UK-US alert shows that the threat has not gone away. The UK government will continue to work with international allies and industry partners to expose Russia's unacceptable cyber behavior, so they are held accountable for their actions. The joint statement made it clear that the targets of such attacks have been primarily government and private sector organizations, critical infrastructure providers and internet service providers which support these sectors. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said airstrikes had made East-West relations worse than in the Cold War. He said, during the Cold War there were channels of communication and no obsession with Russophobia, which looks like genocide by sanctions. MPs overwhelmingly backed MRS May over RAF involvement in the air strikes, but Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn faced Tory cries of shame as he said, the Prime Minister is accountable to this Parliament, not to the whims of the US President. A string of Labour MPs distanced themselves from their leader's continued questioning of whether Syria was to blame for the chemical attack on Doma earlier this month. To cheers from Tory MPs, former Shadow Chancellor Chris Leslie said, pinpointing and degrading Assad's chemical weapons was necessary. Intervening to save civilians from future gas attacks was absolutely the right thing to do. 
Those who would turn a blind eye, who would do nothing in pursuit of some moral high ground, should also be held accountable. And Tory MP Richard Drax said, leadership takes great courage. The Prime Minister has that in spades. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.